Hey everyone, Jared from VidEasy here, and today I'm going to cover a few basics of After Effects, um, rendering out these templates and getting them into your videos. Uh, so hopefully this will be very helpful for you. We've received some questions about once you get to this screen in the instructor, what do we do from here? And I'll show you in this tutorial the steps you can take to get your animations from these templates into the videos you're using in several different ways. So the first way would be right here when you see finished, now open up the following comp, main clean lower third W1, and render it however you'd like, or simply drag it onto your scene. That means two different things. That means you can render it as an asset, or you can go ahead and drag this as the asset onto your video from within here and export it together. So here we're in the timing menu. So we set up our timing um, the way we, we wanted to get the beginning, the landing, and then the ending. So let's go ahead and do this one of two ways. The first way is dragging this onto an already existing comp within this project. So let's say we make a new comp here and we'll just call it comp2. Let's make it 4K so everything is similar. Um, we'll go ahead and do the UDHD 29. So let's go ahead and do that. I will keep it at 10 seconds, that's fine. So now we've created a new composition and what a composition is, it is basically the canvas for your video. So now let's go ahead and pull in actual footage here. If you just pop it into the scene down here, so if you just drag this right into the scene, it'll just apply it to the canvas. And now we have a pretty nice 4K image aerial. And what we can do from here is drag this comp that it told us to go to. So when we were in our main menu here, we filled out the text and we went to the next step. This is our timing step. We time these out. That's where we want our beginning to be. If you want this to be, a, let's say we want it to go the actual full 10 second span. Let's go ahead and find 10 seconds here. And by this time we want it to be out. So we'll have our out go there and we will simply stretch this comp back to the beginning of the uh, intro. So now you can see intro animation, our hold, and then our out animation. If we go into our comp, we know that since this menu, our timing menu told us once we're finished to open up and render this out or simply drag this out onto our scene. So it's called main clean lower third W1. I can either search for that here to make it pop up or I can just look in the comp folder, main lower third comps, and that's where it is. So this is located right here and we can go to our composition and drag this right onto our scene. So now, it looks like this is the 1080 uh, version of the comp. So now I can just scale it up to match my scene and I can hit continuous rasterization because uh, then it'll, it'll allow it to be um, full 4K now since I'm upscaling it. So now I have my intro and I have my hold and, it, it, and an outro for the uh, entire 10 seconds. So you have the option of having this superimposed on your image or your video, and you can export that comp together, or you can go ahead and render it as an asset over alpha by just simply double clicking on main menu lower third and telling this to go the full 10 seconds for the out. So set your out point to the full 10 seconds. And that's just saying that this is your render bar. It's going to render this much. So your clip is going to be 10 seconds now. And so this is for the option of if you're going to compile this as an asset later on, either in After Effects, Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere, uh, Final Cut Pro, um, any other kind of nonlinear editor, this is why you would probably want to do this method. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. Let's go ahead and render. And it's the same way, whether you're rendering this or you're rendering your composition with the lower third applied, it's the same method of, of rendering. So the only difference is we're going to want alpha exporting on this one. So let's just go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. This is the one that we want to have the alpha information. So we will check this right here to lossless with alpha. 
and there's many settings. You can change that into anything you want. Just make sure it has alpha. I know you can you can even do a ProRes setting in here. So you could tell it to be format. You can go to ProRes 444 and 444 allows you to do alpha as well. So if you wanted to, you could export this as a compression as ProRes with alpha. Then all you do is you simply tell this where to go. I could say I just want it to go in the easy folder and we'll say A for alpha. So let's go ahead and save that. So since this is a separate comp, we can go ahead and render this as well. We have it set to the 10, so our in and out is set with our render bar. And we simply go up here to file. Once we're on, we have to be in this, in this composition. So once we're in here, we just go to file, export, add to render queue. And you can set this up however you want. You don't need this one to have alpha. So this could just be ProRes 4 to 2, um, which is one of my presets. But let's say you were on alpha, or let's say you were on lossless, and you wanted to make this ProRes. You simply go up in here in the format options and tell it to be ProRes 4 to 2. Now, you can see the channels do not allow you to do alpha with RGB. You can do an alpha pass or an RGB pass, but you can't combine the two. So let's go ahead and save that comp too. It should already be set to the same folder. Let's go ahead and save it. And now we can either queue this in Adobe Media Encoder, or we can go ahead and render it right from within After Effects. If you do choose to do this, it does allow you to continue rendering within After Effects, and it does it through the Media Encoder, or you can just hit render here, and if you're gonna walk away anyways, you don't need to be working, you can just render queue this right here within After Effects. So we see it rendering pretty fast. That is the alpha pass. And here it's gonna go ahead and render the 4K video background with the composition of the text lower third right on top of it. And this will be a video compiled and this will be a full video, um, and the difference between the two of these renders is that this one is composited directly onto the footage, whereas the other one is more of an asset. It's on alpha, and later on, I'll be applying it to any kind of footage that I would like. So I could put it on this clip, and I don't have to render it again, or I could put it on another clip. So if it's a recurring title that's going to happen throughout my video, I would like to do it as an asset and just bring it into a nonlinear editor and apply it within the editing. So here's a quick example of using our asset after we've rendered it on alpha. Let's go ahead and grab um, this footage here and just drag it down to this comp icon and it creates a new composition based on the information, the metadata of that footage. So now we can go ahead and say, let's import the asset that we just had. I know we put it in this folder here. It was called main clean lower third. So now we have this asset that's pre-rendered and we can just drag this right onto the scene. Hit S for scale. And it's already rendered out and onto our scene now. So this, you can see when I, when I hide this layer, you can see that, and I'll shy that, so there we go. So you can see that this is on alpha now. So that's why I can put anything I want back behind it. I could move this. I'm like, oh, I don't want it to be there. I want it to be, I want it to start here, okay. and. You know, you could even go in here and trim this. So we could trim this to here and say we only want it to last that long. So that's why it's great to have an asset like that. I hope that this basic tutorial has been very helpful to you and that now you have a better understanding of using the instructor within the VidEasy templates. If you have any questions, let us know. And as always, we're gonna do our best to make it easier for you to make better video.